He died before he ever got to live. He elevated cats with his mind. Brody the alien was more than a friend. He and his twisty body were family. So get the Rest in Peace Brody shirt to immortalize him forevermore. Available for a limited time only at Desmerch.com. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to What the F*** News. My name is Destry and I think one of the greatest tragedies of the world is that they stopped making the Taken films. Right? Those movies are f***ing dope. But at what point does Liam Neeson just run out of things that get taken from him? First it was his daughter, then it was his wife, then him. What would even be next? Taken 4. Brian's tennis coach gets taken. Taken 5. Brian's neighbor's cousin's illegitimate daughter gets taken. Until finally, Taken 9. I will find you. And I will kill you. Dude, I just took your microwave. Chill out. Taken 11. Someone steals his water from his faucet. Like, I don't care what they steal as long as Liam Neeson breaks a dude's clavicle in the process and talks in that deep voice. If he could just make those until he's literally too old to lift his forearms, I would be happy. But this is what the f*** news where we talk about the incredibly weird news that you guys might have missed in the last couple of weeks. But first, who wants to see my package? That's right, because today's sponsor are the lovely people over at Adam and Eve who sent me another care package. Wow. But before I open it, God, I really hope there wasn't anything valuable in there. Adam and Eve is the best adult product company on the market that offers everything you need from vibrators, male sex enhancers, massage oils, lube, you name it. Why did I say lube like that? Lube! Gonna get some lube, because I'm gonna lube you up. <laughs> what was this? And before we open the lovely box that they sent me this time, let's not forget the amazing things they sent me last time, including this penis pump. All right, so. <gasps> Green paper? No way! Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> so they sent me clona pussy. <laughs> I'm just gonna send this to Karen Gillen and be like, please, please, please don't send this back to me. And then of course, they also sent me the uh, clone a willy, which why I would need this much, uh, I don't know. I think I'll pretty much only need this little bottom portion right there. <laughs> and then of course, the man wand. Oh, sorry, it was upside down. The man wand, which out of all of the products that uh, Adam and Eve has sent me, I think this one's my favorite. And not because I've used it, but because it comes with a pouch that you can put your man wand in. That's so cool. Whoops, carry it around. Hey, what's going on? Also, guys, make sure to subscribe to my premium Snapchat where I'll, of course, be testing out all of those products. That was a joke, by the way. Don't actually do that. So, Adam and Eve, thank you once again for being my favorite sponsor. Make sure to head on over to adamandeve.com. Use code SMITH when you check out for 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. And now, on to terrible news stuff. And for those of you saying, Destry, what kind of weird shit are women putting in their beaver dams now? Truthfully, I wouldn't know because I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But, Destry, what about the story of Women putting wasps in their vagina. Wasp! Wasp! <laughs> <laughs> Old video reference, but no, I'm not talking about it. Okay, but like, what about the story of the lady who put a spring in her vagina because she thought it would work as birth control? Is that a real story? Yeah. Still no, no, not talking about it. I've moved on, okay? I'm not gonna just be the guy that talks about vaginas. I've been that since 2008, and I'm ready for the next chapter. But if this video can get to 30,000 likes, I will make official please don't put weird stuff in your vagina merch. I even say please, what more do you want? I literally think like four of these will ever sell, but uh, yeah, if you want it, like the video, uh, I'll even wear one in the next what the f*** is. But anyways, the first story I wanna talk about today is the suspected vape ban that's already being put into place in several states across the country. And this is a story I feel like will affect a lot of you guys since according to my analytics over 70% of my audience are vapists and over 60% of my audience hates when I try to do the Pennywise smile and voice are you talking pretty good though. The ban though, which started in the state of Michigan, is spread to New York and is suspected to be followed by at least three other states after President Trump condemned vaping and e-cigarettes following the news of vaping related deaths that have claimed the lives of over six people nationwide. We can't allow people to get sick and we can't have our youth be so affected. People are dying with vaping. So we're looking at it very closely. And, and while obviously the ban is mainly to combat underage vaping, which apparently is a huge epidemic in schools right now, it undoubtedly has upset a lot of people because while six people have died from vaping, allegedly, it's nowhere even close to the amount of deaths that happen every year from cigarettes at almost half a million. Half a million, six, it's barely any different. The font of this one is way bigger and scarier. So let's let's deal with this one and not the one that's been giving people cancer for years. Also, I love how people have allegedly died from vapes and Trump is like, we need to ban this. Yet how many shootings have happened this year? Like 40, 100? Yet nothing's being done about that? It's gotten to the point where vape companies are designing vapes to look like guns because, quote, at least guns
ones have a less likely chance of being banned. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, how ridiculous is that? That it's basically like, hello, uh, may I purchase a vape, please? No, Red Alert, we've got a vape in here! Listen, buddy, we don't want you guys here. Get out! Well, okay, no vape, but, uh, can I get a semi-automatic AR-15 with a bump stock, please? Yeah, of course. Pretty soon people are gonna have to do CD back alley deals just to buy vapes. Yo, man, you wanna buy a vape? I do not. What's wrong, man? You don't have a crippling nicotine addiction? No, get away from me. Hey, you get back here! And I'm not trying to minimalize the fact that people have allegedly died from vaping. I'm just saying, it seems like there are just more pressing concerns that we're not seeing the same amount of urgency from our government to fix. And to be clear, this is coming from someone that doesn't vape even a little bit. My friends are like, Dusty, you want to hit this bed? And I'm like, oh, no. And they're like, oh, well, I'm going to still hit these fatty vape clouds up in your nostrils anyways. <laughs> And I pull a U.N. Jefferson from Revenge of the Nerds with the most unenthusiastic wonderful you've ever heard. Wonderful. So this news doesn't really affect me, but I will say that I, for one, actually like the smell of vape smoke because you can see the parent of the person vaping's love and respect disappear with each cloud. You can literally smell the person's ambitions float away. It's lovely. <laughs> I used to get excited about the smell of cinnamon rolls. Now I just associate the smell with a bunch of Zoomies, hype beast teenagers wearing Tame Impala shirts descending upon me. Mmm, cinnamon rolls. Oh no. Sup, brah? You wanna go buy a single Supreme shirt with a checkered long sleeve to go underneath it? Jeffrey, get out of there! The longer you're in there, the more likely you are to like Little Zan's music. So I guess we'll see in time if this ends up being a permanent ban or just a temporary solution. Especially since a lot of states right now are only banning the use of flavored e-cigarettes and have no regulation on non-flavored products. Which, like, how do you even enforce that? A cop stops you on the side of the road like, Excuse me! That bait better not have any flavor in it. No, no, it's, it's just normal. <laughs> smells an awful lot like mango dragon fruit. You're going down, <laughs> Next in motherf*** news, in probably one of the weirdest headlines I've ever read. India plans to create a breed of super intelligent children using cow urine. <laughs> what? <laughs> so let me get this straight. India's like, yo, we, there needs to be some smart ass babies in the world. What can we do? What tools do we have at our disposal to make this happen? Hmm, you know, I think stem cell research has come a long way, uh, genetic engineering. Yeah, that does sound pretty great, but you know what's better than stem cells? Cow urine. <laughs> you in here, Jerry? Get out! Every f***ing thing you come up with has something to do with cow piss and we're getting real f***ing sick of it. Last time we were trying to come up with a new Dr. Pepper flavor and you said, you know what would be great? Cow urine. Get out of this board meeting, you're fired. And take your jar of cow urine with you. <laughs> I mean, this cannot be real. This is coming from a website called goat.com.au. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm looking for credible news websites, I always start with goat.com.au. But yes, according to goat.com, India's National Commission for Cows... Yep, yeah, okay, this, this is a fake story. Wait, it's not? They actually have a commission for cows? Yes, and apparently India has such a problem with stray cows that the commission for cows' main job is to make sure that they don't run rampant on the streets. Imagine having such a bad stray cow problem that a section of your government is dedicated to it. <laughs> Jesus, why is this so funny to me? Anyways, yes, India's Commission for Cows is apparently working with the Ministry of Ayush, which is a government body that handles the research of alternative medicine and yoga? So wait, they have a ministry for yoga. <laughs> Oh, hang in there, Nestri. <laughs> you can do this. All right, sorry. Anyway, the Ministry of Yoga and Commission of Cows are working together to create a drug out of cow urine and cow dung that, when taken regularly, will make a pregnant woman's child somehow smarter. That makes sense to me. The Commission's chairman, Vala Baha Bahai Katheria, which sounds like the most evil spell that Voldemort could ever produce, expands on this idea by saying, Cow urine equals child prodigy. <laughs> This story can't be real. But who knows, maybe the secret to higher intelligence is cow urine. Cure to AIDS? Cow urine. Super soldier? Cow urine. <laughs> Just imagine Captain America when he's all scrawny and goes to the transformation and comes out all huge. He's like, oh, doctor, what did you do to me? How is this possible? And he's like, uh, well, Steve, uh, <laughs> we injected a load of cow urine into you. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, I want to say 46% cow urine now. If anyone ever, you know, licks your skin or you smell your sweat, it's just gonna be cow urine. I would not have signed up for the army if I would have known this, you son of a bitch. Be happy, you ungrateful turd, you're large now. Your bicep practically has its own zip code. Who gives a shit? 
about how much f***ing cow urine is in you. So if you're pregnant and you're watching this and your doctor's like, Hey, we can make your baby hecka smart if you want. I want you to scream in his face and say, You're not putting cow urine in me! I've done my research, okay? I've watched what the f*** news. Hey, no applause. No applause necessary, guys. Uh, seriously, I'm just a champion of the people, okay? If you want to send me a parade in the Nobel Peace Prize, though, the, the address is right here. And lastly, what the f news? The town of Porthcawl in South Wales is known for its beautiful holiday resorts, sprawling beaches, their severe lack of high-res images to show off their beaches and resorts, and apparently, the amount of people willing to commit adultery in a park bathroom. As the town is having such a problem with people having sex in their park's public bathrooms, that the town is now the first to patent and install anti-sex toilets. In the city council, meeting, the town decreed that the only option besides demolishing the toilets was to invent and install $170,000 additions to the toilets that detect any violent movement and spray water on you. <laughs> what I don't get is I don't think I'm the only person in the world that has violent poops every day of their life. Like, it's not uncommon to see me rocking back and forth on a toilet yelling at my ass. So TMI aside, my point is how does it know that you're not just violently shitting and that you're actually having sex? Because my whole sh I would just be covered in water if that was the case. And also, where does the water come from? Does it like shoot up from the already pooped water that you have that you plopped into? Or is there like a secret compartment that like shoots clean water on you? Like, what? I have so many questions. Plus, like, is getting water poured on you really gonna deter you from having sex? Like, oh no, dude, there's like water shooting on me and stuff. Oh, I really don't even want to have sex anymore, man. This water ruined my mood, man. No, I don't think so. But then again, maybe it will because to anyone that's ever banged in a shower, it's pretty awful. Like water is not your friend. But anyways, according to the inventors of the high-tech toilets, not only will they sell clean, but they also have a range of deterrents for people looking to engage in premarital relations, including weight-sensitive floors to ensure that only one person is in a cubicle at one time, that if set off, will automatically open the stall doors and a high-pitched alarm will sound off. What the f***? Also, how would it even know that there's two people? What if there's just a fat guy that wants to take a f***ing poop and he comes in and just immediately gets sprayed with water? Please, stop having sex. I'm not, I'm just a fat guy. Oh, God damn it, you spraying me. Doors just flinging open over and over. Oh, I hate this place. Plus, if it's only weight-sensitive floors, there's ways to get around that. Like, if this chair was a toilet, you could just hop up on the f***ing toilet seat and boom, now I'm ready for penetration. All right, those words just left my mouth. But good job, Britain. Just another thing. America beats you at. You guys remember when you lost a war to a bunch of colonial dick farts? I do. Oh, look at us. We're British. We have tea. America's like, get that shit out of here. Why don't you take your taxation and your trade routes and get the frick out of here? Yeah, America! America, beating Britain and all of these things. In the planning documents to the new bathrooms, the councillors state, Every option has been considered and every effort has been made to ensure that these new loos at this location will be safe for the community at all times. I love British slang for bathrooms. Loo. Oh, I'm sorry, I just need to go to the loo. Yeah, I'm just about to take a nice, girthy, rigid dumper. Okay, what kind of poops are you having? You describe them as girthy and rigid. Those are the opposite of the things that you want your poops to be. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. The new facility will be good quality externally, complementing the architecture of the Griffin Park Pavilion and equipped with a pay to use facility. Holy shit, you have to pay to poop? What kind of fing place is this? God, no one will want to sh in there. Or maybe that's the point. It's just to deter people from using the bathroom at all. Pretty soon, all public bathrooms will just have 30 obstacles you have to overcome just to take a dump. Uh, excuse me, do you guys have a bathroom here? We do, yes. Uh, it's behind the golden fertility statue over there with a large boulder guarding it that will chase you into a giant spike pit. Uh, over here? Yeah, just watch out for the laser grid hallway from the Resident Evil movie. And uh, also the jungle full of mist that will boil your skin from the Hunger Games. Uh, if you can get past that, watch out. There are several live baboons that will uh, pick at your hair and scream at you while you take a dump. Are there any other hilarious movie reference traps you guys have back there? There might be a chamber with a terribly animated Dwayne The Rock Johnson with a scorpion body uh, who might try to rip your body clean in half, so steer clear of that, probably. I do not want any part of that. That is it for this episode of What The F*** News. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be told when I make new videos. Also, huge thanks to Vic Ross and all of my other beautiful patrons who allow me to keep doing what I love to do. After many hiatus where I was visiting my family in Idaho, I am trying to get back into full 
fully making videos and streaming. So if you haven't followed me already over on my Twitch channel, definitely go do that. I stream every time I write a what the f news and uh, it's honestly just so much fun to riff with you guys and tell jokes and stuff. So uh, definitely check out the channel for that. When I'm not streaming what the f news writing though, um, I just try to stream a bunch of other random games. So most recently I was streaming Spider-Man and that just turned into a giant meme. I have been tasked to watch over the city. They call me. Hoppy Bagface Man. <laughs> and then uh, the next games that I'm hoping to stream is going to be Link's Awakening, which just came out uh, like two days ago, and then also Nino Kuni, which is uh, actually what this tattoo is from, so uh, really excited about that one. But yes, follow me over on twitch.tv slash captaindestas if you're interested in any of that. That's it, guys, though. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, and fair winds. What's up? My name is Blake. Been vaping since I was 11. Honestly, like, you know, like, government, you know, <laughs> you know? Sometimes, like, I'll just, like, stare at my cat and I'll, I'll be like, whoa, dude, like, what else is out there in the universe that we don't know about? <sighs> oh, yeah, this <sighs> draws like a pencil, brother. Okay, but, like, why aren't we at Haley's? <sighs> oh, dude, my mom's such a bitch. <laughs> Paid for my college, right? And I, I just dropped out because I want to be a SoundCloud rapper. She's like, Blake, I fucking paid your tuition, like, Get off my back, you know? Dude, let's go to Haley's. I'm Jones for some fresh meat, you know? It's whatever though, you know? Like my last song, I just took um, like some elevator music and like slowed it way down and then I, I rapped over it. It's got like 12 hits now. It's lit, dude.